Hello, I'm recording this right after I did the variation of parameters uh, topic video, which I was kind of spaced out all the way through. So we'll see how this one goes, but I'm definitely not in the best frame of mind for this right now. But that's what I'm choosing to do with my time. Which of the following is the correct form for a particular solution of this, bleh, of this equation? So right off the bat, we, we really do need to know whether or not our characteristic solution has any overlap with what we have here, because if it doesn't, then uh, the form that we'd like our guess to be in, which is what all of our answer choices are, YPG, the, the guess for our particular solution, would just be A plus BT plus C E to the negative t plus, uh, not a, d cosine t plus e sine t. So let's solve our characteristic equation, which is r to the fourth minus one equals zero, or r to the fourth equals one uh, for our solutions. And in fact, just to see this a little bit better, this is r to the fourth minus one equals zero. We can factor this as r squared, r squared uh, plus one r squared minus one equals zero. This will solve to be r equals plus or minus i, and our second one will solve for r equals r equals plus or minus one. So if r is plus or minus one and plus or minus i, that means that our characteristic solution, yc, will have the form c1 e to the t plus c2 e to the negative t plus c3 sine t plus c4 cosine t. And any overlap that we see here, uh, we'll need to multiply that corresponding term by t. That means that we need to multiply both our sine and cosine by t to get away from these two, and we need to multiply this entire expression by t because this c e to the t will match up with this c2, that c e to the negative t, sorry, matches up with that c e to the negative t. And so our answer is uh, d. 12, we are looking for a particular solution or well, the form of a particular solution to this equation here. Let's solve our characteristic equation, r to the fourth plus two r squared plus one equals zero. This is r squared plus one squared. This gives us, this gives us, uh, we're solving r squared equals negative one, that's r equals plus or minus i with a multiplicity of two. Because uh, things have a multiplicity of two, our characteristic solution, yc, will be t, t sine t plus t cosine t. And I, and I need the c1s and c2s, of course. Um, and remember that that extra t that we're multiplying into everything is a result of this multiplicity here. So now, taking a look at what our uh, what we would like our guess to be, given what we have here, we would like our guess for y particular to be a cosine t plus b sine t plus c e to the negative t minus uh, sorry not minus plus d t plus e, because remember, whenever we have some uh, t to the n, we have to split that up into uh, some constant times uh, t to the n, and then all of the powers of t lower than that times some uh, other constant. So now, uh, our issue here is that, um, and to be completely honest, I'm still not completely sure why what happens here happens, uh, but 
because we have these guys multiplied by t, I think might be explainable by the fact that uh, if if this if we had a solution in, in this form, you know, we would we would have to make a guess about it uh, by putting it by putting it in the form a plus b t sine t plus c plus d t cosine t, and then we would get those uh, uh, constant times constant times sine constant times cosine terms. Uh, but either way, what we need to do here is multiply our sine and our cosine by t squared. And I'm really, really sorry that I don't have a better explanation for this. Um, but essentially, if you run into this sort of situation, the rule seems to be uh, multiply by t until the power of t on, your, on all of your sines and cosines is one greater than the power of t in uh, multiply by your sines and cosines in yc. So that leads us to answer D. And 12, which of the following functions is the correct form for a particular solution to this equation here? Solving, solving our characteristic equation, we have r to the fourth minus one equals zero, r to the fourth equals one, r equals plus or minus one, and r equals plus or minus i. I does solve this, right? Let's check. Root negative one squared will be negative one, and negative one squared, uh, which is i to the fourth, gives us, yeah, that will give us uh, the one that we are looking for. Okay, so plus or minus one and plus or minus i. And so we would like our we would like our guess uh, if we didn't have any conflict to be like g equals a e to the t plus b t plus c e to the negative t plus d cosine t plus e sine t. But because we have uh, some i's in here, we know that that will lead to a c one cosine t and a c two sine t uh, in our in our characteristic solution. So we need to take our sine and cosine here and multiply them by t. Additionally, because we have plus or minus one as a solution, that will lead to an e to the t term and an e to the negative t term, both multiplied by a constant. So this c e to the negative t term has to be multiplied by t to get away from that. And so does this. So that uh, leaves us that leaves us with answer choice E for 12. You know what the best feeling is? Uploading or at least editing and compiling and sending to your computer um, a video for an exam and then realizing that you had two questions left and that you just didn't scroll. So here we go, we have two questions left. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's determine a suitable form for y of t if the method of undetermined coefficients is used on this thing right here. So let's grab our characteristic equation and solve it. That's r squared plus 1 equals 0. That's r squared equals negative 1. r is equal to plus or minus i. Hope you can hear uh, my computer fan going. Let's see if I can get that to stop. Um, Wow, it's just revving up more. Okay, that's nice. So we know that yc will be of the form c1 cosine t plus c2 sine t. I'll just talk louder to mask it. Uh, and as a result, instead of guessing a t plus b uh, plus c t plus d sine t plus e t plus f cosine t, we're going to uh, need to multiply, we're going to need to multiply these guys all by t so that we don't have some constant times cosine and some constant times sine uh, interfering with everything uh, that, that matches down here. So that leaves us with, that leaves us with uh, option A. I really hope that the computer fan isn't 
isn't unbearable. Uh, no, I'm not even sure why it's running. It shouldn't be. Okay. Maybe that. Maybe that solved it. Nine. Let's find a particular solution to uh, this guy. And this second order differential equation right here. Um, let's go through the motions solving our our uh, characteristic equation r squared minus 2r plus 5 is equal to 0. This has no uh, normal factors, so we're going to uh, compute our uh, quadratic formula. We'll get 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is uh, b squared will give us negative 4 minus 4ac Sorry, that will give us 4 minus 4ac, which is 20, minus 20. Negative 16, that's plus or minus, um, <laughs> that's the square root of negative 16, so 4i, and then we're dividing by 2, so 2i. And those are our roots there. Uh, but important to note, this does not mess with our sign up here. We can have ypg as a sine t plus b cosine t, and it doesn't matter because our solution for yc will take the form uh, c1 e to the t cosine 2t plus c2 e to the t sine 2t. And so it's kind of clear, since we have no e terms and we don't have a 2 in here with the t, that this guess is perfectly valid. So let's find ypg prime. That gives us a cosine t minus b sine t and y p g double prime is negative a sine t minus b cosine t. Plugging these in, we will get negative a sine t minus b cosine t minus 2a cosine t plus 2b plus 2b sine t plus 5a sine t plus 5b cosine t is equal to 20 sine t. So gathering all of our sine terms, negative a plus 2b plus 5a, so that's 4a here, is equal to 20. And gathering our cosine terms, negative b minus 2a plus 5b, so plus 4b there, is equal to zero. We can put this into a matrix, a little augmented matrix, 20, 0, 4, 2, negative 2, 4. Dividing our top row by 2, we get 2, 1, 10. Adding it to row 2, we get 0, 5, 10, which we can simplify down to 1, 2, subtract it here and divide. We see that uh, a is equal to 4 and b is equal uh, to 2. That is incorrect. I have no idea why I just paused there. I thought I had the incorrect answer, but uh, we, found, we found 4 sine t plus 2 cosine t. If I just replace that b and that is our correct answer b, I, I don't know what I'm what I'm thinking. I, I really should not be recording, but there we go. And here's my second and final goodbye. Let's make sure we don't have any more questions. No, we don't.